Hey guys, welcome to the channel and uh, in this tutorial we are going to see the first sorting technique called as bubble sort. In previous tutorial we have seen what is an introduction of sorting and how sorting has been done. So in this tutorial we are going to see the example of bubble sort and how it has been done. So bubble sort uh, is nothing but a very simple sorting technique and uh, in this slide we can see that uh, a given series uh, consists of a combination of unsorted elements. Uh, in this series we are having at least six elements and uh, this is the unsorted list and the sorted list so from the initial stage to the final stage we are going to sort in a similar procedure so what is a bubble sort bubble sort is nothing but uh, traversing throughout the list and uh, having small small similarities and com uh, combining with the two elements and checking for the largest element or the smallest element in case of an ascending list or an descending list uh, bubble the largest value to the end up using pairwise comparison and swapping process is being done in bubbling process so let's see with an example so this series consists of the elements 77 42 35 12 101 and 5 so what we are doing is we are comparing the first two elements in programming manner we are having the first element as i and second element as j Okay, so the element i goes from the first element to the n minus 1th element and j goes from the second element to the nth element. Okay, so let's assume that 77 is being allocated to i and 42 is being allocated to j. So what we are doing is in every step we are following or we are repeating the same step again and again which is nothing but we are going to compare i and j. That's all. So in case of an ascending order, the last element will be the largest value and in case of an descending order, the last value will be the least value. So let's assume we are going to have an ascending order right now. So we are planning to move the largest element to the last value. Okay, so we are comparing 77 and 42. So we can see that the 77 is the largest element and it should be in the right place and not in the left side. Right. So what we are doing is we are swapping both the elements. Okay, so 77 and 42 is being swapped. Okay, so now we have swapped the element 42 and 77 and now what we are doing is we are going to increment the value or positions of i and j. So i moves from 1 to 2 and j moves from 2 to 3. So the first two elements which has been combined or compared, now it will be uh, the second element and the third element. So 77 and 35 is being compared right now. So the new value of i is, I is 2 and j is 3. So again 77 and 35 is being compared. And again 77 is the largest number so the largest number has to be on the right hand side as we are going for an ascending order so again we are going to swap the two elements so again swap okay next again we are incrementing the value so our value of i and j so 77 and 12 is also being again compared again it is being swapped okay and here in the next process 77 and 101 is being compared but here the largest value is 101 which is already in the right hand side so there is no use of or no need of swapping the values okay so the last set is 101 and 5 okay again the 101 is the largest value again we have to move it to the right hand side so we are swapping the value to its right hand position so this is one complete iteration so at the end of one complete iteration we can see that one element is fixed or one element is confirmed that 101 is the largest element right so this is one iteration so this iteration is repeated until we get a final sorted list okay and uh, <coughs> only the largest value is being correctly placed and not the remaining elements so each step one value is being allocated in its respective position okay so all other values are still out of order so we need to repeat this process until we get the sorted list okay so the next step the same step is being repeated uh, n number of times so that we get a final sorted series okay and uh, how many times this steps is been repeated is that n minus one time is been repeated so that if there are n elements in n minus one times we will get a final solution for example there are six elements in this list so in this you can see that one not one has been highlighted uh, because one not one is the sorted element and remaining black elements are unsorted elements so this is iteration one so end of iteration 2 we can see that 77 and 101 has been sorted in iteration 3 42 iteration 4 35 in last iteration either one can be resolved so if there are n elements we can sort the given 
uh, list of series in uh, n minus 1 steps okay so this is how we are doing our bubble sort process this is another animated example so you, where you can see that an index is being given and whether uh, swapping is done or not here the number of element given is 8 so in 8 elements you can obviously see that 98 is the largest element so we are going to compare the first two elements again so 98 and 23 is being compared and obviously 98 is the largest one so we are swapping the value so 23 and 98 has been swapped you can see the value is index of 1 and then <coughs> 98 and 45 is being compared where index value is 2 again swap so this has been this swapping process is being done until it gets to the final position so finish the first bubble up so in end, at the end of the first bubble up series we are having one finite element 98 in the last position this is the largest value and coming on to the second iteration so second iteration also again uh, there is no need of swapping in the first step as 45 is the largest value so now commonly seeing that we can see that 67 is the second largest element so we are continuing the process until we re reach that 67 is the second largest element and finally it is being done okay so the highlighted elements are like 67 and 98 which is in blue color uh, indicates that the list has been sorted and the remaining elements are unsorted so similarly this process is being continued until we reach the final sorted steps so I'm just forwarding the steps to avoid the time and uh, 42 45 43 and <coughs> that will be the final series 6 14 23 33 42 45 67 and 98 okay uh, the last three steps are in black color it or uh, we are not going to do anything about it because it has already swapped sorry already been sorted and so that we can skip those final steps right so just brushing up the concept a uh, bubble up algorithm will move largest value to its correct location so if it we want to uh, make it in a descending order means we will go for the smallest value instead of the largest value we are repeating this bubble up until all elements are correctly placed okay so maximum of n minus one time it is a maximum value I repeat so maximum of n minus one times is re required to sort the given list and can finish early as possible I'll early if possible if there are no swapping occurs in final stages okay so we reduce the number of elements we compare each time one is correctly placed okay and in the next tutorial we will we'll be seeing what is a merge sort and uh, how a merge sort has been solved and uh, if you want an assignment uh, you can take an example as bubble sort itself in alphabetical order so the given series to you is B U B B L E S O R T. I repeat the given assignment series for you is B U B B L E S O R T. so you can sort this given series in ascending order okay so try this and if you have any doubts or any clarification you can comment in the comment section okay so until when we meet in the next tutorial it's Karthikeyan signing off